know a lot of people have been uh, wondering uh, about the accident and the, um, the details about the accident. Uh, you know, the, uh, this, like I said, this being my second major leg injury, um, happened December 24th, Christmas Eve in Nebraska. I was doing leg extensions and uh, had a significant amount of weight uh, on a leg uh, extension apparatus and um, I went to shift my body uh, mid rep and kind of uh, sh shift the weight all on to my left leg and um, uh, by lack of a better term it did <laughs> tore basically and it sounded like a telephone book ripping um, a tendon ripped the quad tendon right, right above the knee and uh, retracted up my leg um, uh, I can tell you uh, it's a sound unlike any other sound and I don't think I ever forget it um, once it happened um, at first I didn't feel immediate pain uh, the contours of, uh, of the muscle just went limp um, it was just one big blob and then all of a sudden the pain hit uh, um, the way to describe it I guess the best way to describe it would be uh, like a blowtorch being set inside my knee <laughs> Um, and it just, uh, I flew off the machine, screamed, and, um, you know, first thing I said to my wife that, you know, that's it. It's, that's a wrap, man. Uh, I just knew it was a wrap. They put me in a brace, uh, put me in some pain meds, and they, I didn't want them to operate in Nebraska. So, uh, I, I stayed there over Christmas, uh, left on the 26th, 27th, flew home with my leg in a brace and got the surgery, uh, January 8th, uh, they reattached it. Um, Ira, Ira Guttentag was a doctor, Tampa Bay Lightnings, a uh, team doctor, um, very, very uh, talented surgeon. Uh, basically, when it ripped, it pretty much frayed both ends of the tendon like this. And he had to cut the frayed ends, ends off the tendon and then reattach them with Teflon uh, sutures. Back's pretty lean right now. We're about six weeks out, we're ahead of schedule. So things are looking pretty good. Um, an injury like this is it's pretty similar to Cadillac Williams injury. Um, an injury like this usually takes about a year and a half. Um, but I've been fortunate enough that uh, I was able to get back and resume my training exactly about uh, I'd say uh, eight months. Uh, I was fully, uh, I was almost full speed, and here we are now. You know, I still get, you know, I'm always going to have some aches and pains from it, but um, I'm able to really, uh, really train, train hard, and, and the muscles responded. The leg is uh, coming back. Um, you know, you'll be able to see a little discrepancy at the at the Ironman, but not much. Um, I've been very fortunate. Uh, the doctor's, uh, I got a nickname at the doctor's office, Wolverine. Uh, he has no idea how I'm training the way I do. Let's go, right here. Let's go. One. Let's go. Come on. Two. That's right, homie. Let's go. Three. That's it, Mark. Come on. Two more. Push. Yo. Here we go. Finish it. Damn it. That's right. That's how I'm I just, I didn't want to quit. I wasn't going to quit. Um. I don't know if I know how to quit, to tell you the truth. Uh, I'm, I'm, one of my biggest fears is fear of failure. And I think that's been a big driving force behind me. Let's it's go, the fact that I want to prove on. people wrong. That, you know, that said that he's going to be a statistic. There's too many variables that happen in his life. This guy's going to be a statistic. I say kiss my black booty to that. <laughs> I ain't going to be a statistic. Life is what you make of it, you know? Yeah, sure, I was handed sour grapes, but I'm not gonna sit here and whine about the shit, you know? I'm gonna dust myself off. I ain't gonna ask for no damn pity party, and I'm gonna do what I gotta do. That's called manning up. Tonight we dine in hell.